hey, hey. This is Elizabeth Oliva. And let's see if anybody's out there today on a Saturday. Turn the camera. There we go. Hey, <laughs> that was quick. Hey, Hussway. I was on yours this morning, and I hope you guys like this. I've been meaning to put this out. Oh, look at the hearts going already. You guys, what are you doing today? It's Saturday. Where are you? I am actually sitting in the parking lot of, oh, my screen's screen froze. Hey, hey. Uh, sitting in the parking lot of a mall, which is somewhere that I don't go very much. Um, I don't do a whole lot of shopping, but I got to get a dress for our event this uh, next weekend. And it's kind of a funny story. Hustling, all right, that's right. What, are you, what else are you guys doing out there? It's Saturday. Coco Beach, hey, how are you? I bet it's beautiful there today. It's kind of overcast here in Texas. Um, but yeah, I'm at the, I'm at the mall because I got a dress, but it must have been made for an, hey, uh, from Buffalo. Hello, David Brown. It must be like made for an Amazon tall giant woman because it's like four inches too long. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I either have to get it altered or find another dress. So I'm going to see if I can find another dress, but I wanted to talk about what do you do? How do you prospect when you're painfully shy? Or you've got someone on your team who is just painfully shy. So if this message is one that you want to get out to other people, go ahead and share. Depending on helpful soul. Hey there, how are you? It's acting up. You know, it's probably because I'm on a regular connection. Sorry. Um, I thought I'd do this before I walk in the mall. Maybe not a great idea. Thanks for the hearts, though. So if you're painfully shy or you have someone on your team that is painfully shy, I have some points. Uh, yeah, th that's a very, very good point. Make it a conversation before they even start to, before you even start to talk to someone, if you're painfully shy, you got to work on the mindset. This is what I have found. Um, I actually did a lot of training when I first began with a trainer named Danny Johnson. If you guys have never heard of her, look her up. D-A-N-I. Okay. D-A-N-I Johnson. And that's who helped me get really good at talking to people. Now I was never really shy. But I met some people who were at this event. One lady, Megan, M-E-G-G-A-N, Megan Larson, L-A-R-S-O-N. We became really good friends. And you're doing her 30-day boot camp. Okay, you know who she is. And she absolutely rocks. Well, Megan and I met at uh, Danny Johnson, and she was one of those people who was painfully shy. She really didn't want to talk to anyone, um, had a really hard time. And she completely transformed. I watched her completely transform in the period of a year. Uh, yeah, I have a lot of tips on public speaking. And it all begins with mindset. I mean, that, that's really where it's going to start for everything. So if you've got someone who's painfully shy or you are yourself, first thing you got to do is get really clear. My heart, uh, my heart rate always shoots through the roof when I start speaking. <laughs> I understand. Um, I've done a lot of public speaking. And let me, let me get to that. Don't let me forget. I will talk about that. But you got to start with your mindset, okay? So if someone's painfully shy, they need to get really clear on why they want to do their business. What is driving them? They need to get really clear on their vision. You bet. You bet, helpful soul. Um, really, really clear on their vision. Because if your vision is clear and you know where you're headed and you know who you are going to become... It's going to pull you into action. It's going to pull you past your ego. And see, a lot of people don't realize that being painfully shy has something to do with ego. Usually they think ego is someone who's arrogant, who's boisterous. That's the person we think is the egotistical person. But ego takes many forms. One of those forms is being shy, okay? Because you're thinking about yourself or you're thinking about what other people are going to think of you. Okay. So you've got to get really clear on your vision. You cannot say the wrong thing to the right person or the right thing to the wrong person. <laughs> yeah, it's true. When you have your heart in the right place and you have your posture. So you got to get your ego out of the way and you got to remember that you are just the messenger. You're not the message and you can't be addicted to the outcome. You see, if you're so shy that it's so hard for you, please save this because the connection is very bad. Yeah, okay, it's going to be on catch.me, and then I'm going to try to put it up on my Facebook page, my fan page, Elizabeth Oliva, okay? So if you're really shy, and you got to get clear on your vision, then you got to do a lot of personal development. That is really going to help you out. Dive in to personal development. Do everything you can to get better 
and better every day. Listen to audio, read books, attend events, and you're going to see yourself changing right before your eyes. I've seen people, just like Megan, change because they started to actually peel off those layers, like peeling off the layers of an onion, of, of their shyness and of their insecurity and of their lack of self-esteem. They started to peel those off. And, um, oh, audible.com? Yeah, you can absolutely go to audible.com. And there's another one, learnoutloud.com. That's another one I've heard of. And you can, you can learn in the car. Like here I'm sitting in the car. You, you can make this a rolling university. So personal development is absolutely key. And then let yourself fail. I know that sounds crazy. And it's really hard possibly for a shy person. But failure is part of the process when you're doing what we do. And it's part of the process for anyone who is successful. Failure is not fatal. And it's not permanent. <laughs> It's absolutely not permanent. It is temporary, and it shows you what you need to do next. It is just a learning curve. You know, John Maxwell has a great book. Sometimes you win, sometimes you learn. So for the shy person, you got to realize that failure is part of the process. That person that you're, you're just so worried and nervous to talk to, sometimes they feel the same way. Even though they may come across as completely confident in every which way, they may not be. You know, inside of them, they have their own insecurities. And a lot of shy people, yeah, always keep your why in mind. A lot of shy people don't realize that person they're talking to has all kinds of insecurities as well. Absolutely. So, and then put yourself out there. If you've got a local meeting and you've got something where you can volunteer, do it. Be a part of it. Go to the organizer of the meeting and say, I, I want to help. Whether it is greeting people at the sign-up table whether it is maybe speaking a little bit in front of the room, do it. There are a lot of great probably meetup groups and um, speaking groups that you can become a part of. You're going to have to get out of your comfort zone. That's where the magic happens. If you're shy, to get over your shyness, you got to get out of your comfort zone. And I'm telling you, that's where everything is. That's where your freedom is. That's where your success is. Be around people that support you and care about you. And get training, get really, really good training on what you're supposed to say. Yeah, <laughs> and what you're supposed to say when you talk to someone, okay? You can do that. You can have scripts memorized. I used to do that. I used to go to networking events, and before, I'd sit in the car like this, and I'd be, okay, I'd go over what I was supposed to say to whoever I was going to walk up to. It was form, usually, family, occupation, recreation, message, but the F of family, I would change to where are you from in a business situation. You know, that might be a really good thing you could actually do. So those are some things you can do if you're shy. Get around successful people, and you're going to learn that some of those people are just as shy. Get out of your own head. Get into personal development. Get out of your shell and stretch yourself. Get out of your comfort zone. Be prepared when you talk to people. And then that leads me into the, what do you do for public speaking? That was a question that I got. Being prepared is a huge part of it. Okay, huge. All right. If you are prepared, and I also sing. Some of you may know that. Um, and I have performed at some level most of my life. I played piano for 12 years growing up through high school and elementary and everything. And then I've also sung, sung or sang. And I'm about to do that next week. For anyone that's going to be at our convention next week, you might want to be there on Wednesday at the opening session for people, ambitious people. <laughs> Supposedly, I might be making an appearance there. We're going to see you there. <laughs> I had somebody trying to call me. Um, so hopefully you're still there. But if you are prepared, thank you for giving me a heart. Sorry, I had someone tried to call me. Um, if you are prepared before you go in front of a room, it's going to make a huge difference huge difference in how you feel. Now, a little bit of nervousness is okay. And so if you are nervous and you feel your heart racing, you want to close your eyes and you want to visualize yourself in front of the room. You want to visualize what you're going to say. You want to take some really deep, long breaths and let them out. Okay. And those are techniques that I use all the time. But visualization is absolutely key if you're going to be in front of a room doing anything, if you're going to speak. And then I actually usually say a little prayer. I, I just say, give me the right words. Put the, give me a download right now of exactly 
how you want me to be in front of this room so that I can impact some people because I'm just the messenger. I'm not the message. And I want to make sure that I give as much impact as possible, whether I'm singing or speaking or doing a video or doing this. However I can, I want to make the most impact and hit somebody where they need to be hit, right between the eyes or in the heart or wherever it is. So if you're completely nervous in front of the room, if your heart's pounding and you feel like you're, you, you know, your, your palms are sweating and your mouth is going dry, always have some water, by the way. <laughs> that always helps me. I'm never without water. I have it right here in the car. I have like, um, here we go. Got my water from Starbucks because I got some coffee. So always be prepared if you're going in front of a room, if you're talking to anyone, that's going to help you with your nervousness. So do you guys have any questions on this? I mean, what to do if someone's shy? I love your clear tips. Ah, oh, helpful soul. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I love it when people ask me questions because then I can answer directly, you know, what somebody's, how can people follow you? Oh, thank you, Josue. <laughs> yes, I have a way you can follow me. Um, my fan page is Elizabeth Oliva, O-L-I-V-A. And it's really Elizabeth Oliva Biz, B-I-Z, if you want to find me the actual handle. And then my blog is elizabetholiva.com. That's O-L-I-V like Victor, A like Apple, dot com. And I'm giving tips weekly and sometimes daily there as well. But let me know what you guys are looking for. You know, is there some crazy question you haven't had answered? Something you're struggling with that you're thinking, man, I'm the only one this is happening to? Probably not. <laughs> it's probably how we do a lot of people. Mine is prob probably has happened to me as well. But that's how you can follow me, you know, and here on Periscope. I am loving doing Periscope. You guys, I'm going to be doing more next week in our convention. And I have a lot of tips that I want to give. This one, actually, today, the thing about shy people, someone had sent me a text message and said, I have a new teammate who was really, really shy. How can they, how can they do their business? How can they prospect when they're really, really shy? So that's why I wanted to put this out because this is going up on my fan page. As long as it's not too uh, choppy <laughs> because if the connection was lost here and there, maybe it's kind of, I don't know, it might be. I love the hearts though. Thank you so much. Helpful so my heart rate is the biggest problem. Once I've started, yeah, then you settle down. So take some deep breaths before you go out there. Um, clear your head. And, you know, if you've got a lot of stuff going on in the room, it's just at the start. Yeah, yeah, it, it, absolutely. And you know what? That's very normal. Uh, like I said, if you don't have some nervousness, I'd be worried. But try to get focused and centered before you step in front of the room as much as you can. Now, I actually have done deep knee bends. I've stretched my arms. I've done a waist twist. I, I, it looks like I'm about to go run or something. Uh, but people laugh at me when I go before I go in front of the room because I want to get my blood pumping. I want to be excited. I want to have as high energy level as I can. And most people say I have that even when I wake up. But I, I want to be as impactful and high energy. So I, I do some calisthenics, I guess you say. And that helps my heart rate and it also helps my nervousness because I have all this energy, you know, about to bust out of me. So maybe do some stretches, um, take some deep breaths, close your eyes, think about what you're about to do or about what you're about to say. And that might help you. I'll try your technique. Yeah, let me know how it goes. Absolutely. Let me know how it goes. You guys can also call me at 469-224-7898. Say it one more time. 469-224-7898. So come and find me and let me know what you want me to Periscope about. Um, I want to do some fun ones where I'm like, you know, taking the camera around and some weird stuff, you know. <laughs> so... Hope you guys have a great Saturday. I'm going to go and find me a dress, I hope. You're in London. All right. Yes, yes, yes. Helpful soul. Great to hear from you in London. I am so glad you're on this Periscope. Thank you guys so much for being here on a Saturday. Everybody's so busy and running around, and, and I wasn't sure if anybody would show up. <laughs> so I'm really glad that everybody was here. So you guys come and find me. Let me know how I can help you. I want to help you build your business. I have a passion to help struggling Home business owners, and I have that as my tagline, you know, helping home business owners get online, get more leads, make more money, and build a bigger business faster. So I want to help you do that. You guys have a great day. Until next time.